victories on the road don't come easy in the Big East. Jimmy Butler with the fadeaway Jade. As Marquette found out in New York City, to pull off an overtime win like the one at St. John's, the entire trip must go perfectly. Preparation on the road mirrors that at home. For the people who think that we just go to the hotel room and just uh, just go to the hotel room and just lay out, it's not true. I mean, even though rest is important, but we just want to make sure that you get all the information about the team that we're getting ready to face. So we might, as soon as we land, we might go straight to the ballroom and watch film on the on the team, go over their plays, like what sets they run and everything like that, and then watch more film. And then we probably eat, and then we watch film again, and then we go to the play. So basically, coach wants to get in our head. Uh, so basically, it's like second nature to their plays and everything. Film study and walkthroughs are vital to getting wins. Hotel ballrooms double as cafeterias. And theaters. I think coach does a good job at breaking it into sections, so we, so we learn a good amount at each time. He doesn't just jam pack a whole bunch of info on us. He breaks it up, so, so, so we're able to uh, uh, digest it all. I'm Joe. This is Kadookie. That's Kadookie, and that's Adrian. It's Adrian, time. give him a few words on how we study on the road. It's time. Game day starts with a trip to the arena for a shoot around unlike most others. Our shoot around is a little different from anybody else's. But our shoot around is like an actual mini practice, basically. So at the end, of, at the end of it, you're sweating hard, and uh, it's basically like you just got to work out, and it's basically like a, a one-hour practice. I don't know how what anybody else does. But they, might, they might just go over plays and just shoot, shoot some balls, but uh, we actually like compete during shoot around and we break, break a sweat. And I think that when you break that sweat, it gets you ready. To me, all the bubble talk is it's fairy tale land. I don't believe in the tooth fairy and I don't believe in Santa Claus. I don't teach my kids to believe in those things and I don't tell our guys to believe in those things. Everybody has a job to do, you have a job to do. And your job is to talk about the affairs of where college basketball is. And if you're calling a game, it's specific to the affairs of that game. So everybody has a job, but we have a job as well. And if we don't do our job, we're not going to the postseason. I think uh, every game, it's huge right now because, uh, as you know, everybody's trying to get into the tournament, and you know everybody, everybody's fighting for you know to go to the NCAA to uh, to the tournament. So every game is huge right now. You know everybody's coming out, everybody's playing hard, everybody wants to prove, wants to prove something. So. And for Marquette, crucial to keep the momentum going, looking for their seventh win in their last eight games. Butler gonna go again, stripped by Booth. His turnaround oh. got him at the buzzer. I don't know why, but like when I get the ball at the end of the game, I'm thinking, you know, maybe my team wants me to take the take the shot. If not, then you know they're just gonna have to deal with it. And um, I was looking up, and yeah, I had enough time to reverse the Jazar, but they were switching out a lot. EJ was open on the first side, but I was trying to get it to Jazar, and then. Um, after that, I just created for myself. And actually, he hit the ball. It was just a, a shot. I thought the play of the game was in overtime when that ball was going all over the place on our end. Everybody was hitting it. Everybody was touching it. And you guys remember Zar got the putback. Uglier games get, the more I believe it favors us. But I don't think that we can be foolish enough to think that we can continue to get better if we're going to start the way we started. Does that make sense? You look at how we started tonight, it was awful. And then you think about how we finished the last 10 minutes against Cincinnati in the first half. I'm not saying we have to play perfect. I don't think that that's who we are. I think who we are is grinded out tough, we'll hang around, we'll hang around, we'll hang around, but we can't hurt our own selves. You know what I'm saying? We, we got enough to try to overcome, and we can't fight them and us because we spend the rest of the game trying to overcome 
our mess up and continue to fight them. You, you guys' character, I, I, your character and your fight is, is unbelievable. It, the best I've ever seen in college basketball. There's no way. There, if you were to be real honest, if our record was reversed and we were 9-18, and 18, everybody go, yeah, that's what everybody said they'd be. Nobody has any idea how hard it has been for you guys to flip it to 18 and 9. Unbelievable. And the only reason is because of who you guys are individually and who you guys are collectively on and off the floor.